In this video series, we're going to show you how to upload files to your server. The first thing you're going to need is an FTP client. I suggest Smart FTP. You can get it at smartftp.com. Let's click on the download link and then download the appropriate version for your computer. And then click download now. Once a file is downloaded to your desktop, just double click on the file to open it and the install wizard will run. And then we just follow the instructions as we go through here, if there are any. When it's done, you click the finish button and it will launch the Smart FTP program by itself if this box is checked. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then get a box like this uh, telling you that it's licensed software and you can either buy it now or you click OK. It does work without buying it. Now when you've opened it you'll see something like this. Now what we're seeing now is our local computer. Now what we want to do is we're going to want to create a server side. So what we want to do is click on a new remote browser up here and then you give it your details here. put your domain name here. A path here, you can put a path if you know the path to where your web documents go. How you're going to access it, username and password, username only, anonymous or no login. Then you put your username and password details here. Then click OK. Now what we're seeing is we have our local computer on this side and we have our server over here. Down here this would be where our uploads will show. Over here we have our temporary queue. What happens is when we upload a file we put it into the temporary queue. Once it's uploading it goes into the transfer queue. Now let's find a file that we're going to upload now just as an example. So we just navigated over here to where we wanted to go on our computer and over on the right here are our files. So in this case let's just upload one of these music files. So all you have to do is click is either click on the one you want or you can just put your mouse over the ones you want hold down the control key and then keep going until you have all the ones you want selected. Then all you do is while you're holding the control key down you just grab them and bring them down here. Oh, I missed that one. Okay. Now these are now the files that we're going to upload. And then what we want to do is pick a location on our server. Now most servers have a place where you have to put your web images and our web content. A lot of servers it's called public underscore HTML sometimes it's called htdocs. You need to contact your server provider if you're not sure what it is. On this server it's public underscore html so we'll double click on that and then it'll bring the contents up in here and this is what's inside public html. There are all these files and folders here. Now we can create a new folder from here if we want just by clicking on this little folder button so we'll click on that and just call it music. Oh, okay. Music test. Okay, and we can double click on that again. And now this is empty. So all we have to do is click on this and then hold the control D key down to select them both and then 
while holding the control key down just drag them up into here and let go and if we check our transfer queue now we'll see that these are being transferred up to our server and we can drag across here and it's telling us how much time is left how much time has elapsed the current speed and the average speed of each download how much of, a, of the total file size is uploaded okay everything's uploaded so now if we refresh this by clicking on these double arrows here and you'll see that our files are now uploaded here now let's just make this bigger for a second so you can see our files here now and that's how you upload them then to access them you just type in the web address for instance let's just rename this and we'll just call this B so this is now located on our server yourbestonlineinfo.com slash music test which is the name of the folder that we created here slash music test and then slash B dot WMA now if we wanted to access that file and download it, all we'd have to do is key the address into our browser. So we key into our browser window this address. And when we click see when we click on that, we will see that a dialog box comes up and we can either save it to disk or we can open it with Windows Media Player either one you want to do. So, so if we were to open it now it, it plays in the media player we can also download it just by clicking save the disk and then save and it downloads it for us uploading any files are the same if you're uploading websites it all works the same as that so that is how you upload files to your server.